Hey everyone, my name is Usman and in this video I will show you how to override nodes in Lexical. Also my Patreon is up so if you want to support me outside of YouTube, I would greatly appreciate it and you can you know subscribe to any of these three tiers. Okay, so I have a Lexical editor here. Now why would you want to override nodes? You know maybe there is some node like the paragraph node. So by default whenever you are typing the node which is basically created and you know has the text and everything is a paragraph node maybe you want to override the default behavior of a paragraph node and you know want to replace it with some other node then you will basically you replace the node or override the node okay so let's try to override one node so right now i have got a paragraph node here great now what i want to do is i want to override or replace this paragraph node with my own node i will call it custom paragraph node and that custom paragraph node will have a background of green obviously you can add your any custom functionality you want but you know i will keep it simple so let's do that so i will come here i will go to the notes folder nodes here i'll create a class custom paragraph node so let's export class custom paragraph node extends paragraph node so since i am replacing the paragraph node and i want to you know mutate something in the paragraph node i will you know extend it um i won't add the constructor because uh, i'm not adding any new property i want to utilize the constructor of the paragraph node so that would remain however any node you create you still have to add two static methods the clone method and the type method those two methods are mandatory so let me add them so i'll say static get type so this has to return a string i'll say it should be custom paragraph and then static clone so this will take in a node that is a custom paragraph node and would return a custom paragraph node so i would just do return new custom paragraph node custom paragraph node expects the node key as a param so i'll just pass the node key here so the clone is done get type is done now ideally you know the node is done and it will work so let me just add the replacement logic inside the text editor file in the notes config and then i will add the uh, green background part so that you can see that you know uh, that you can do that as well so first let's work on the replacement so i will go to the rich text editor first of all i will add the custom paragraph node here so that it is registered in the rich text editor then i will add an object and that is the replacement object so if you want to replace a node with another node you add an object so one property is replace so which node class do i want to replace so i want to replace the paragraph node so i'll say paragraph node then with with is a function what am i replacing this paragraph node with i am replacing it with a custom paragraph node so i will just return a custom paragraph node so let me go here let me refresh it and now if i go to the nodes array you will see that now it says custom paragraph node which is great so previously when i showed you it the class was saying paragraph node because that was the name of the class but now since i've replaced it everywhere in the nodes config with the custom paragraph node now it says custom paragraph node great now obviously uh, there's nothing changed here because i didn't add any you know thing inside the custom paragraph node which would alter its behavior so let's do that so before that also there is another property we can add so with class and then custom paragraph node so basically what it does is if the base class which i'm replacing that is in this case the paragraph node has got some default behavior like some mutation listeners or some node transforms and i want them to translate to the node which i'm replacing it with then I should add this property. So right now I didn't add the property and you saw that it still replaced the paragraph node with the custom paragraph node in the lexical config. However, you should still add this so that it doesn't, you know, do anything uncertain in your code. So now let me go to the custom paragraph node and let me use the create DOM function to modify the paragraph. So I'll say const element is equal to super dot create dom and i'll pass in the config so this is calling the create dom function of the 
constructor that is paragraph node and the paragraph node create DOM function returns a paragraph so we want to modify its style so i'll say element dot style dot background is equal to green element dot style dot color is equal to white element dot style dot padding left is equal to 8 pixels then i would return the element so i've basically modified the paragraph element so now I refresh and you will see that it has a green background and there is some left padding and also the text add is white. And basically you can see the paragraph element here corresponding to the paragraph node. It has all the styles that I added. Great. Now let's do another thing. So let me press enter. Let me click on this node. So basically this is a button which adds a list. So if I go to the list plugin you will see that it calls the command insert unordered list so basically that adds an unordered list which is great however i also want to override the list item node so the list item node is you know this list item this list item this list item so i want to override it so let's do that as well as a second example so i'll close everything i will go here i will create another file custom list item node.tsx so let's export class custom list item node extends custom extends list item node. So the list item node will get from the lexical list package. So lexical list. Cool. Now again the same thing, let me copy those from here, so I'll copy these, I'll paste them here, so this can be custom list item, and this will be custom list item node, custom list item node, custom list item node, so if you hover over custom list item node, you will see that it expects these three values in the constructor, so the value, exact and key, so I can pass those, so I can say dot value dot checked and you know i'm passing the key already cool so the custom list item node is done let me go to the this text editor and add another replacement object let me add the custom list node here as well so i want to replace the list item node what do I want to replace it with? I want to replace it with the custom list item node. Here I will add the custom list item node as well. The nodes only contains the list node, so I won't be able to see the custom list item node, but I can still, you know, uh, change stuff inside the create DOM function for the custom list item node and you'll see the difference. So here I will say create DOM. Cons element is equal to super dot create DOM and i'll pass the config so the create dom function of the list item node returns an li tag so i can you know if i want to replace it with something else as well let's do something basic right now so let me return the element and let me say element dot style dot background is equal to green let's say let me refresh now you will see that the list item node has a green background so i add some text I enter and you know you can see that it has a green background so the custom list item node has registered it is working but now you know what I want is I want to replace the li tag with a div tag let's say so you know um, let me comment that out I will say const element is equal to document dot create element div and I want to say element dot style dot border is equal to one pixel solid black now i refresh and now i click on this you will see that it renders a div for the list item node not the li tag you can see the div here and you know i can add some text here so item one enter item two enter and basically it keeps on adding a div so i have modified the behavior of the list item node where it doesn't return the li tag it returns a div element so you know you can do whatever you want you know these were just some basic examples but 
that is how you can override a node and that is how you can use the override to your advantage you can you know replace it with another element you can change its styles etc etc so yeah that is it for the tutorial if you like the tutorial make sure to smash the like button subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next video bye